Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are in the Cascade Mountains of Western Oregon. We will be watching a video on danger tree removal. Our participating utility is the Bonneville Power Administration. And this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now you're gonna hear a lot of chainsaw action in this video as these line crews work to remove trees that have been damaged by wildfires and present a danger to the transmission line. Here they are at their pre-job safety briefing on-site meeting to talk about the task for today. They each have to sign that they've participated in the safety meeting. And now it's time to shoulder the chainsaws and scale the side of this mountain where the danger trees are. You see the fire damaged trees from a wildfire that went through about a year ago. Here is the crew at the base of one of these fire damaged trees that needs to come down. And the reason this tree has to come down, of course, is you can see the charring at the bottom. That tree is in danger of falling and taking out the line. One of the first tasks, in fact, is to clear out trees that have already fallen. And with a little clearance around it, they can now cut into the bark of the tree to get started, uh, peel away some bark to give them an entry point for cutting. Also, it helps to direct the tree as it falls. Now they're using uh, two different chainsaws to cut into this tree. This tree I believe is about 58 or 59 inches circumference at chest height which is considered large for a danger tree. Little break in the chainsaw action and noise while they take this wedge out of the tree. The tree is going to fall to our right on the screen. Right for that tree right there, Gary. And so then we start the saws up again, continue the cutting, and now they're going to start putting these small wedges in on the back side of the fall. The direction of the fall here is to the right on the screen, parallel to the transmission line you see behind the tree. And uh, as you see these saws continue to go through, the wedges are there on the back side of this fall. And pretty soon you're going to hear the tree start to give way. You'll hear a cracking. When the crew hears that crack, they jump away. And I will let you listen to this tree come down. See the transmission tower to the left. Again, if this tree fell down the hill, it would take that wire, that transmission line out. Now we will move on to the next biggest uh, fire damage or danger tree. Same process here, cutting this down and it's also going to fall parallel to that 230 kV line you can see here in the background. And so as we watch our crew continue to clear out these wildfire damaged danger trees, the definition of a danger tree is one that is outside the acquired transmission line right of way but still presents a future or current hazard to the line in that it could fall, bend, or grow into a conductor or come in close enough contact to cause flashover with the wire conductor. Also, our crews are looking for trees that might compromise the line in very high wind conditions. Whenever possible, trees such as these are left in the right of way and just trimmed back or cut down. They make good habitats for woodpeckers and other species. But as you can see, wildfire does damage trees and they do need to be taken out. I often refer to line crews doing vegetation management work as the unsung heroes of the industry for keeping the power on. And now let's listen to Nate Ward, foreman one for the Chimawa transmission line maintenance crew, describe the wedges used for tree felling. All right, we use these wedges as a little added security to make sure we get our tree going the way we want it to go. So what we'll do is that we cut across on our back cut. You create a void here. So as soon as you get, get enough space in there, you want to put this wedge in. And that way, once, as we're going, we're creating that void. That tree doesn't want to set back on us because once you do that, you got so much leverage coming back, you'll never get it to go where you want it to go. So as soon as we get enough space, we start putting wedges in. We get the guy tapping on the wedges to keep it going the right direction. And a lot of times these will save your butt, make sure you got the tree pointed in the right direction. Awesome. And so now as we pan back across this cleared right of way for a 230 kV transmission line in Western Oregon, you have now seen our TND How video on danger tree removal. Our participating utility was Bonneville Power Administration, 
and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching.